Hello everyone, I'm Rick Picard with Quality Cutting Tools and what we're going to do today is a little demonstration on a TUR lathe. This is a 630MN with the Siemens 840 control. Uh, we're going to show you how easy it is to make a part using the conversational programming of this machine. You can order this machine as a base unit uh, for approximately $120,000 Canadian. You uh, there's certain options on here that we have. We have uh, third movable hand wheel, which is a pretty cool uh, feature. We can basically, once we build our program on there to do a test run, we can test it by just spinning this hand wheel and it'll, as fast as we spin it, it'll do the program. It's got, and we're gonna show you later, but we have all the graphics up here, 3D graphics, a real-time simulation. This machine, we put on an option, a, a second control panel so we have hand wheels where we can uh, do some manual machining if we wanted to. Uh, it's got a joystick for power feeding. We would put the feed rate and speed in the controller and we could actually do some cutting. Uh, spindle startup is right here. A couple other options on here. We're going to move this door. This machine we put a eight station power turret on. It comes standard with a multi-fix, just a C-size multi-fix. On the back we have a boring bar holder with uh, coolant through. Uh, we've got a steady rest on here. It's got the power outlet for a chip conveyor, so it's a plug and play chip conveyor. This unit we brought in with just a chip pan and, uh, and a coolant pump. Okay, next we're gonna do a demonstration of to make a part. Hi, I'm Sean here. I'm going to show you how we achieve this uh, machine part by uh, programming it on the 840 controller. So we'll start off with uh, setting up our workpiece material. You'll start off with picking out your G54. You'll pick out the material that you're using. You can go from cylinder, pipe, block, hex, Remember to tell them what the you'll, is too. you'll enter your uh, material diameter, the start of your work face, how long your blank is, how long your blank is sticking out from the uh, chuck jaws. You'll uh, put in your retracts for X and Z axis. And then you also will set your tool changer point where your carousel will go away to do its tool change. You can also set your max RPM and then your safety distance before it feeds into the material. Once this is complete, you hit accept. Then we'll go to removing the stock. So you'll first you'll call up your tool Give it a roughing feed rate, set your RPM, you can pick from roughing or finishing tool pass. The first one will do roughing. You can pick your position if you want to do a stub or a bore or if you have sub spindle you can do the other side of the part. You can pick now if you're feeding the material, <clears throat> roughing your material lengthwise, or if you want to do facing passes, enter in your diameter, set your Z0 starting point, you'll enter in the amount of material to remove on your X axis, set the length of your part. Now you can uh, pick either radius or chamfers in this mode. Corner radius or chamfer, and you can do the outside chamfer or radius. You'll then, <coughs> excuse me, do your maximum depth of cut and also leave your finishing allowance for X axis and Z axis. 
Once this is done, you accept it. We can go down and create a finished tool path off the same geometry we just did. You'll give it your feed rate, RPM. We'll pick the finishing feed rate. Set your material diameter, Z0 length. Your radiuses and chamfers as the prior one. And accept. The last, for the part that we have in the machine, we're going to thread it. So we're doing, going to cut 12 threads per inch. We have it set up with our pitch. This is for changing pitch of threads. We're going to thread at 200 RPM. We can go from roughing and finishing cycles to just a roughing cycle or we could just do a finishing pass. We can set up now for thread cutting, which will be degressive, or we can go linear movements, internal, external, the diameter of your thread, set your Z0, length of your thread, the starting point of where you're going to start your thread cycle. The run out at the end of the thread. Your depth of thread. In feed angle. Your first depth of cut. Your finishing allowance. Spring pass and you're retract when you're in between threading passes. You can also do multiple starts on this. Once we're done, we'll hit accept again. Now we can come back and simulate what we programmed. With the simulation, we can verify that our program is correct. And it will also tell us approximately how long it's going to take to machine the part. Once the simulation is complete, we can go ahead and run the program by hitting the execute button. And now we can uh, start the program. Here we uh, reset up the material because our thread was not the proper sides. So we're going to use the thread recycle. So you can see in the picture here, we lined up our threading tool into the V of the thread. Now we move over to the controller and we go into thread sync and then teach the main spindle. Now the threading tool is synced with the ball screws and the chuck. Now we'll be able to resume our program and recut the thread. Since we just finished our quick part, 
on the conversational side. Just want to show you some more options of uh, conversational programming we got. We have uh, drilling options where you can come in as just like the other ones, you fill in the blanks for your different drilling or tapping cycles. We have more turning options as in grooving and we have different styles of grooves, tapered grooves, standard grooves, grooves with tapered walls, radiuses. We have undercutting for threads. We also have cutoff for if you're parting off parts. And also we have another one where it's a continuous turn where if you have a geometry that isn't suited by our quick conversational points, you can come in, draw your own profile and program it off of that. Thanks for watching the demo, everyone. Um, wanted to say with the machine, a new machine uh, install is provided by us. We provide one week of of training. So if you give us a manual machinist that's uh, that's a good machinist, we'll have him making any part he any part you need to make on this machine in one week. Um, any questions, uh, pricing questions on the machine? Give us a call. Thank you.